Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit of a different style. I want to take you on a walk that I do fairly frequently starting from downtown Victoria, um, St Anne's Academy which is where this is and then heading over to Beacon Hill Park. So St. Anne's Academy is an old academy. It was a convent, a school, and now I believe it's owned by the provincial government. Um, there's some beautiful gardens around. This fountain is really interesting. It was, I always thought that it was um, destroyed, but it's actually built this way. It was supposed to be, I think it was a destroyed battleship. Um, there's lots of plaques around that tell you what things are, but this particular part of the gardens has always really intrigued me. There's also a lot of squirrels around and wildlife, as is everywhere in Victoria. Um, but this little guy was so cute. He was They're very, very friendly around here, so it was really nice. The flowers are so abundant in Victoria. I mean, it's called the Garden City for a reason. I think there are just flowers blooming all year round, no matter what the season, but especially this time of year, the spring and the summer, the flowers are just so beautiful wherever you are. So walking from St. Anne's Academy, you kind of go along this little dirt path and cross the road. It's really nice because there's so many trees around and it's kind of dry and deserty. It's a big change from the greenery of St. Anne's. This is just at the start of Beacon Hill and um, where I actually, when I first came to Beacon Hill, it was my first ever experience of Beacon Hill was walking here and I was like, wow, it's so dry. It kind of almost reminds me of Africa or the Sahara, especially with all the trees, the curly trees and the rocks and all of the dried grass. It's just such a unique part of the park. I really, really love it here, especially in the evening time. I think you'll hear me talk about the evening light a lot, but I just feel like it makes this walk so much more enjoyable. I think any time I have a bad, bad day or if I'm feeling down or a bit groggy, I take this walk and the one by the ocean and either of those walks just makes me feel so much better. Ferns have to be one of my favourite plants. I don't think I've ever really seen them in such abundance other than being on Vancouver Island and they quickly have become one of my favourite sights to see. They're so lovely. There's something really magical about them and I just, I love them so much. So leaving behind the drier rocks of the park, you get into this really beautiful green 
garden. There's a, the rock garden with all the flowers and just near a few of the ponds too. The flowers and the ferns and the trees here are so lovely and it just makes such a nice contrast from that dry rocky area into this beautiful rainforest rock garden. One of the things that really surprised me when I first visited Beacon Hill was the amount of lakes and ponds and rivers and streams and fountains it just it makes the park so magical i don't know what better word to describe it it's just it's such a wonderful thing to walk around and hear the water and the ducks and the geese and there's also turtles in this lake too so you see them on the, the logs sometimes and it's just so lovely it just it makes the walk so nice Also, just the amount of trees and all the different trees that you get around Beacon Hill is just so amazing. Oh, these little goslings, they're so cute. And they're absolutely all over Victoria right now, but I absolutely love them. And there's a lot of these structures around, all this landscaping. It's, it's so beautiful. These little bridges to the stone bridges are just so quaint and lovely with the with these little streams as I say you can hear water falling wherever you are it's so lovely another famous Beacon Hill resident the famous peacock um, there's actually lots and lots of peacocks around and uh, you can hear them all the time especially this time of year which is mating season they're usually hanging around the children's farm. I think it's the farm or the petting zoo where there are all the goats. Um, but this guy obviously wanted to come say hello or chill by the waterfall. So they're very friendly too. And they're so beautiful. So right now it's also heron nesting season. There are these big trees and you can probably just see them slightly, their wings moving. And there are lots and lots and lots of heron nests and you can hear them. They're very loud and they're very smelly too, but it's very cool to see. This is one of my favourite places in Beacon Hill, this little walkway here with the hanging plants down right by the lake. There is also wisteria here and it was just in bloom but unfortunately I missed it so I'm not able to show you but it smells amazing when it's blooming when you walk through but I still love these trees, the way that they just curl around the wooden structures, it's just so magical. I think this is probably one of the most relaxing parts of the park to walk through. I think what I love the most about Beacon Hill is that there's just so much to discover. I think it's about 200 acres, but I feel like every time I go, I see something new or I find a new path, a new trail, or I spot something that I've never noticed before. It's just such a nice place to walk through and it never feels repetitive. It's always enjoyable. It's always relaxing. and. I know that probably sounds really boring to a lot of people, but it's, it's hard to kind of convey 
across a video how it feels in real life. This was one of those really special moments with the squirrel. They're so friendly here and they will take nuts off you and, and bread and things like that if you have them. They take them right out of your hand. Um, I haven't trusted one enough yet to do that, but he was so cute. In the springtime, there's also lots and lots of blossom trees in Beacon Hill, especially in this kind of area. It's just full of pink cherry blossoms and then a bit later on it has the plum blossoms and it's so beautiful. The stage park. I've not actually seen anything play here, but apparently they have jazz and things like that. So that'll be really cool to see once it starts again. So if you're not familiar with these, this is a mason bee house. I had never heard of them before moving to the island, but they are native to North America and they're very, very friendly, I think, or gentle. They don't really sting and people love them here. So you see mason bee houses all over the island. This is another one of my favorite places in the park. These red trees are just absolutely magnificent. It just reminds me so much of California, the way that the red and the green just contrast is so beautiful and they are absolutely enormous. I always say that this part of the park always reminds me of Jurassic Park. This is another great example of always finding something new whenever we go to the park. We were actually looking for the famous Moss Lady sculpture. We could not find her anywhere. Every time we went to the park, we tried to find her, we couldn't. And this particular path, we had been past so many times and for some reason we just never gone down it. And then we finally decided to and we found her. She is truly incredible. She's very famous. Um, yeah, I was so, so thrilled to find her and it was very exciting when we finally did. With Victoria having very distinct seasons, it's really cool to see how the nature changes in the park throughout the different times of the year. And this lake, Fountain Lake, is a really great example of that because in the winter time, there is absolutely nothing on this lake. It's purely clear and there's nothing there. And then obviously in the summertime, it's full of lily pads. So this has just been a little tiny bit of Beacon Hill. There is so much more I could show you, but this video would be so long. So I will perhaps do other videos to show you different parts of the park and different trails and things like that. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was relaxing and enjoyable. If you did, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. It helps to push these videos to others that might also be interested. Um, and also, I just really love to hear from you. So if you have any comments, if you have anything that you'd like to see, let me know. I do videos every single week and I try to respond to everybody and I would really love to hear from you. Until my next one, I hope you have the most wonderful day and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.